What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm gonna show you how to upload and customize an image on your ghost blog. So if you're new to Markdown, the way to do an image is you're gonna do an exclamation point and then two brackets and two parentheses. What that means is that the brackets is the alt text for the image, so like what the image is gonna be called. So for the first one, I'm gonna do ghost image, and then in the parentheses is gonna be the path to the image. Now, we don't already have any, so we're gonna go ahead and add one. So just click on the box over here, add the ghost image, and it'll upload it and fill the path in for you. Now we're gonna go ahead and add another one. I'm gonna call this one Lakers image. I'm a huge Laker fan, if you can't tell by the multiple hats I wear in all these videos. So you can click on this to upload, or you can also drag and drop the image on if you'd like, if you have it readily available and that's easier for you. So now we have the two images uploaded, and so if we save, load the post, you can see we have both images here. Now the images are just plain, they're not clickable, they don't have any styling, anything like that. So if we want to make them clickable, which is what a lot of people do because you want to view the image bigger or maybe your theme has a light box, something like that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to wrap these whole things inside of a link text. Now a link text or a link uh, markdown looks like this, very similar to the image just with no parentheses. So the way this works is this is the text for the link. So if we did Google and then the made the link google.com, you can see that it says Google, but the link is to google.com. So what we're gonna do is the actual text for the link is what we're gonna turn into the image. So we'll go ahead and copy the image, put it in here. And then for the link, we want it to link to the actual image on the blog. So take the path to the image and put that as the link. So again, we're gonna do a bracket, the full image markdown syntax, end bracket, and then for the link, the full path to the image we just uploaded. So now if we save and reload, so the first two images, but the next two you can see are clickable. So if we click it, it takes you to the full image. So that's one thing that's pretty popular to do. So that way your images aren't just static, they're actually like a little bit more interactable if they're small and people wanna click on them. So anything beyond this really, you're gonna have to switch over to HTML. Now the editor does take regular HTML, so you can do stuff like image source equals, you know, paste the source of the image you're looking for, and then it'll upload the image again. Let me get rid of some of these and then it'll paste the image in there via HTML. Now you cannot upload an image like this. So if you're gonna use HTML, the easiest way really is still to do this, click on image, add the image you want, and then copy and paste this into the HTML you're using. That's still the easiest way, just because uploading it directly to the database is a lot more difficult than just doing it like that. So if you're uploading a bunch of images, still do it like that. At some point, there will be an image manager in Ghost where you'll be able to upload a bunch or delete a bunch or whatever you need. But as of right now, that doesn't exist. So go ahead and just do it through the actual Handlebars helper and then use it wherever you want. So the thing I'm gonna show you via HTML is just how to make put the images side by side. Now we do have a post that I'll link in the description that shows how to place all the images side by side. We have it for Bootstrap, we have it for Tables, um, we also have it for floats and flexbox with example code and everything. So I'll go ahead and, and link that there so you can use those as examples if you're gonna do it yourself. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use flexbox. So div style equals display flex. And then a containing div here. And then I'm gonna do the image source. I'm gonna give this a max width, just because I don't want the images bleeding over the edge. And then an end div here. Now I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing again. Oh, I wanna add the style flex one. Again, add that down here and then change the image to our other image, the source to our other image, and then complete the thing right there. So now you can see the editor, they're already side by side. So if we save, 
and then go to the actual post. You can see the images are now side by side. So now you can add more to HTML to this to make it look nicer. You can add more images. You can make the heights the same, all that kind of stuff. But for the purpose of this, you can see that we're just using regular HTML with the images that we uploaded. Again, to get the source, just do this, upload the image, and then copy and paste the source, and then go ahead and delete that. So that's the best way to do it. So yeah, that's it for images and customizing them. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment below or hit us up on Twitter. We also have a Ghost for Beginners ebook that goes over this and a lot of other topics if you're new to Ghost. So I'll have a link for that in the description as well. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like. We're going to keep coming out with videos uh, on how to use Ghost. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.